Hello and welcome back to our HIP Roman Restoration campaign. In our last episode we had a succession, our first succession of this campaign, as uh, Alexius himself has died, bringing an end to the Alexiad, I suppose. And I think it was a pretty successful one. He oversaw a pretty substantial regaining of territories in Anatolia over here. Not sure how that compares to what actual historical Alexios did, but I'm pretty happy with it at least. So we are still in our war with Lesser Armenia here. We're just about to win our ticking war score. The siege will get us there. And after that, we'll be able to go to war with Rum again, since the death of Alexios has ended our truce with them. But let's see, I think we probably do want to take a diplomacy focus here to help out a little bit against these factions. We'll gain prestige and get opinion bonuses that way as well, which will also help out. Um, maybe we'll do carousing, I guess inviting people to parties would help. Or we could do family, increase our fertility, that would improve our chances of having an heir born in the purple, hopefully a strong heir with our new wife who hasn't actually arrived yet. I think we'll take family, okay. And we do need to get a daughter educated. Or I think we did this already, didn't we? We are just waiting for the reply. Let's actually unpause and see if I'm correct about that. And for our marriage, we'll take the prestige, I think, since we took a prestige hit from marrying somebody of relatively low station. We don't really need the money. So maybe I didn't already arrange an educator for my daughter here. I'll give her to Wallachia, yeah, that's fine. Enemy courtiers found, we will put them into the dungeons, and that in fact only got us to 99%. We should get to 100 any second now, thanks to Ticking War Score. Unless we haven't had a major battle yet, yeah, we're capped at 99, okay. Hmm. So less than 36 months. Yeah, I don't really want to wait that long, so let's see. I just have to hope that they have large enough armies here that it will count as a major battle when we fight them. I believe we can also end the war by fully sieging them, but I think I would rather not take that long, if possible. My son is mastering the art of swordsmanship, okay. Sounds good. Alright, for tech, let's see, we're good on economy tech. I guess we'll go for either improved keeps or castle infrastructure. And let's also bump up noble customs, I think, as well extra feudal vassal opinion, since we do just have this faction notification popping up now. Let's see, which of these people did we already bribe or bestow titles upon? Oh, we can give this guy a title at least. Uh, 58 gold I will definitely spend, seems reasonable. I guess we could roll back the intact theme system if we're in serious trouble. Which I don't think we are yet. Alright, let's unpause for a while and see if anyone leaves the faction. Alright, we're being looted, that's okay. Where are you going now? To Amida. See if we can catch him over there. We cannot, but maybe we can go this way instead. Oh, there's a fairly large army from Room there. Uh, of course, before we declare war on Room, we're going to have to end this war, George's war, with Azerbaijan, or. Iran, I guess, for Azerbaijan, because we can't declare war on uh, Room if we're already fighting them in a different war. We'll put this guy in the dungeons. 
And I seem to have lost Armenia's army. I assume they're headed in this direction somewhere. Oh, there it is. Sneaky. Uh, I think somebody left here. It's still at 85% though. This guy is at 63. So... I suspect he'll probably leave pretty soon. Unfortunately, we almost certainly have his levies raised, and uh, that is going to be reducing his opinion of us. Ooh, we just took a lot of attrition there, that's not good. We should be able to catch this army at some point here. The arrow barely whizzes by you and instead harmlessly hits the ground nearby. Close, so close. Had your head been just a finger length more to the right, you could have been seriously injured, even killed. So we gain... ID and Prestige, nice. Does this count as a major battle? Apparently it does, okay. So we can enforce our demands here. Take our one county. And we'll just grant it out randomly. So let's see, this is in the Duchy of Sivas which is two counties, the other which is held by room. Okay, so we're not going to be creating that duchy anytime soon. Let's see, you guys can come down here and we'll disband you. You can just get disbanded where you are. So let's check on the progress of these wars. So this is the... Georgia versus Iran and Rum. It's 84% uh, in Georgia's favor. Looks like they have a pretty large army here and an allied army. I think they have this well in hand. Uh, how is the other war doing? This is Croatia against these guys down here. Ooh, it looks like they might be having a bad time. There's a lot of armies from Italy over here. Helping them out. Of course, this one, we don't really care about that much. It's not stopping us going to war with a room or anything. Might start to pay more attention to it if they are sieging my land or something. For now, we'll probably just ignore that. I guess we could have kept our armies raised and actually helped. We could have fought Room's army. You've improved this guy's opinion. Great. Was he one of our faction members, I think? Yes. Okay, so that should get him out of the faction. Uh, let's go ahead and move our Chancellor to one of these other people. Preferably someone who's in both factions. If such a person exists. Which I don't think they do. I think Thessalonica is relatively powerful, so I think we'll probably go for him. Come on now, raiders in the capital? We can't stand for that. Let's go ahead and raise our personal levies, at least from the other counties that are not being currently raided. We'll raise your levy too. You're taking a break from discussing war plans with your fellow commanders and decide to start chatting with one of your guards. He tells you, my cousin is out fighting infidels and what do I get? Guard duty. Guard duty is important, man. Stuff needs to be guarded. Even guard duty has its honor. Alright, so let's actually send these armies around here. Since this is a pretty sizable raiding party, Begluk's host. Let's 
So I think we won't have any terrain penalties here. Is there a river crossing? There is, but it's not not avoidable, so we're just going to have to accept it. And they're actually going to manage to leave across the Bosphorus. Okay, well, definitely not going to be crossing them against across uh, attacking them across a strait. And the Georgian Holy War is over. Excellent. Okay. So I think they've taken some land down here. That's fine. We are allied with them, so it's nice for us to have a stronger ally. So I guess we'll try to head around here and come with them this way. Not that way. That doesn't make any sense. Let's see, if we have an organizer we can put in charge, we can get there quicker and have a better chance of catching them, but of course we don't. I can't in good conscience go to war while there's raiders sitting in Constantinople. We'll get this dealt with soon enough. Still have the dangerous faction, and in fact somebody else has joined this, I think. Come on now, at 91, you're still in here. It's a little rich. I'm not giving you 250 gold. Don't like primogeniture succession. Under nine gold, I guess I'll take that. No honorary titles. I don't know if that's going to get her out of the faction, and it's up to a hundred, well, down to a hundred percent now, 107. Uh, I think we might have to roll back the intact theme system to decayed, get rid of the minus 10 feudal vassal opinion. We lose a bit of tax and levy, but that's fine. We'll take it. We can always reinstitute it later. Okay, so he's up to 100 now. That should mean he definitely gets out. Or I am not going to be happy about it. Somebody else left, I think. We've wiped out the raiders, let's disband our troops so we can actually declare war. I would like to get this looking a little better before we raise more troops again. Alright, the Knights Templar have been founded. I've been corresponding regularly with my sister Euphrasia, and always make sure to see her whenever I get the chance. It's a harsh world, and family must stick together. Okay, family first. It is our focus. Come on now, this guy... Still in the faction at 100, opinion. Don't appreciate that at all. I think I'll just start handing out bribes, even though they're pretty expensive. Oh, that's only 51. Did I not check you before? Alright, let's see how much that helps. I've also been corresponding regularly with my brother Philotheos. Family first, sounds good. Alright, we no longer have a dangerous faction. This one is still at 58%, so if I can bribe somebody out of this... I'll feel a lot better about going to war right now. There we go. Uh, this guy, Thessalonica, has just founded a faction, so we already have our Chancellor working on him. Hopefully uh, he'll get his opinion improved quickly and get out of that. So, let's see what wars we can declare. I think we should have no Holy War cooldown, so we can declare an actual Holy War which I think is our preferred option, assuming we have the necessary piety, which actually, do we? I guess we don't need piety to do religious reconquest, but uh, Holy War would cost us piety, which we don't have. So yes, let's do a religious reconquest. 
We go for three counties here. One county here. But it would join up some of our disconnected lands. Go for more of this southern coast down here. Uh, take this land, okay. We're here. Here. Ooh, that's a big one. Five counties. That would weaken Room the most. It would take, I'm assuming, their capital is a pretty good county. Uh, these aren't amazing counties, but there are five of them. Yeah, I think we'll take the biggest duchy we can get. That sounds good. Let's check what the other one available is down here. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take this. Nearby Sunni rulers might ask to join. Okay. Let's hope we can handle that if it happens. Of course, we can call in our allies in Georgia, and I think we probably will, just to be sort of on the safe side here. Uh, unfortunately, we have our events bond army here right beside a large hostile army from Room. So let's see if we can get them out of there and hopefully don't lose them. So let's call in, I guess we'll call in Croatia as well. Actually, uh, we won't call in Croatia right now, they're still involved in their war. We may call them in later. Oh, are we not allied with Georgia now? Alright, never mind then. So let's see, uh, are we going to get this army to safety? Yeah, lots of people being called in, not unexpected. I think what we'll do is raise some boats here and see if we can get them to safety this way. And since we have boats raised, we may as well actually use the troops from our islands for once. Usually I just don't bother out of convenience, but it's definitely not the optimal strategy. Okay, looks good. You guys can come around here too. So, how about our troops from this side of the Straits? See if we can get this 300 out safely. And this 800 is going to have the same problem as our other army that was there did. But it looks like they're not actually chasing that down, so that's okay. Alright, you can stop by Rhodes, pick up that army. Actually, 81 is not really worth the trouble. We'll go to Crete, though. Uh, did I not tell you to go anywhere? You can head over there, please. Alright, Croatia having a battle up here. Looks like it's going to be a pretty close one. It could be worth enough war score to win them the whole war if they actually win it. First 11k across the straight stain here. So we've got a pretty large army landed on Cyprus, which is, of course, everyone's favorite sieging target, apparently. Raiders under the Earl of Wexford are <laughs> uh, pillaging some of Room's lands, okay. Well done, Wexford. It's a long way to come for loot, but I like your moxie. Um, let's see, we'll get into our target duchy here and get some sieges going. Hang out in the mountains, so we'll have some good defensive bonuses if we get attacked. This 
expand our boats. Uh, it looks like we can actually just march this 800 out safely. We'll see if we can get them over here to meet up with the larger army. And you have successfully converted the province you were working on, that's good. Let's get you over to the next one. Also fulfills our ambition. Oh, and we've gained the diligent traits. I think we already had diligent though. So unfortunately not really anything gained out of that. That's okay though. Uh, why don't we take the ambition to... We'll just take to convert a province again. I would like to become a skilled fighter, but I don't want to take risks by putting myself into battles before we've had an heir. Obviously we have an heir, but I'd like to have perhaps a strong heir born in the purple. If at all possible. And my wife is pregnant. Speaking of which, that's great. Alright, raiders up here, we'll just ignore them. And yeah, it seems like they're concentrating all of their strength on Cyprus, which is good news, I think. We can just siege our target duchy without interference, probably. Okay, well, we're just about out of time for this episode, so we'll have to leave it here for now and continue this war in the next one. So thanks for watching, and join me again then.